So let's take a look at some of the tools that we have in the tool palette that you'll find over on the right hand side of your screen. So we're going to take some measurements. Let's try this column right here. We're going to activate the measure tool and then we're going to pick a point on the column here, point on the floor and you want to double click to keep that measurement. And again, we can sort of look to see some other areas. If we want to get the width of the column, we can just get the width of the column there. We want to get the height under the beam to the floor. You see you're dragging the line, you've got a guide here. So you want to just pull that to make sure you're getting that vertical dimension. didn't double click. Let's do it again. And we want to get that vertical dimension. There we go. Now, if there's something of note, maybe you need more clearance space under here. What you can do is you can click on one of the measurements and it's exactly like what we had with 2D. We can change the unit. We can copy the measurements to clipboard or we can delete we can also create an annotation from the measurement. So I'm going to click the annotation. So we've got a safety clearance issue. Um, we want to make sure that's the minimum of 13. Our length is actually showing us 12, 9 and 3 quarters. I'm going to assign that to somebody to look into. I can assign the due date and I'm going to say that is open. It's going to create an annotation. So the measurement has been created and there is also this annotation that has a, has a task attached to it. So again, if you want to see more, you can check um, show more and you can see there was a safety clearance issue, who it was assigned to, status of the, the report, when this is due and who created the task. If you want to minimize it, click the X. If you want to delete, just simply hit delete. If you just want to add regular annotations, you can certainly do that too. So I'm just going to find some areas around here that we might want to put some tags and annotations on. Let's see if we've got any valves or equipment. And I'm just going to pop a little annotation on here. I'm going to call that our fire water. We don't necessarily need to fill this out because there's no task associated with it. It's just marking that that's the, the valve number and in a description of what that is. And you'll see that's tagged. So in future, if anybody wants to know about that valve, they can just simply click on the link and get the information of what that valve tag is and what the description is. Now, one of the other things that we have in here, which is nice, is we have the ability to export sections of the point cloud and export those out as maybe an E57 or a recap file that you can then take into Revit and create an as-built of the model. What you can do is you can click a sub-volume and then what this will let you do is basically just put a clipping box around an area anywhere in the point cloud and you can export that out to maybe a recap file, bring it into Revit and then update the model based on the as-built height of that concrete beam that we found. And we're going to export just those points. We can export those as a CPE, an E57, LES, LEZ, PLY, an RCS or an XYZ file. Um, we can just export that. And if we look up at our cloud activity button here, we can click on that and that's going to show me the export tab and the import tab. So we're going to look at the export tab and we can see the progress of that export to an RCS file. 
One thing to note is if you do close the browser, this export process will stop. So make sure you keep your browser open while that's working. And to reset your clipping box, if you want, you can just hit the reset. And I'm going to go back. The other thing we've got also is our opacity. So if you're looking at this right now um, and you wanted to perhaps see where the, the waypoints are, maybe you do have some 360 images in here as well. We do have some visibility controls in here. So we're looking at the point cloud, the model and the sheet with the, the hollow builder waypoints. So I can change the opacity and you can change the sheet. So you can turn any of these off at any time. So there's your sheets with your waypoints. And if you want to see the model, we're just going to go to the model view here. And you can see we've made that true. We've added that transparency to the model. So you can click this, drag the slider down so that you can see the waypoints and how they are um, sitting relative to, to the model. And again, if we've got both overlaid, we can change the transparency of all of these based on what it is that you actually need to see.